Hey, what's up guys, it's number one Pred here, and today what I'll be bringing you guys is a 242 kill specialist gameplay. And this is a pretty sweet gameplay actually, considering it's 242 kill specialist. And actually a known fact is that this is my most kills ever in Call of Duty in a single game. And it beats it by a long mile, I mean my second highest is at 189, and that's with, uh, with specialist as well. So Ghost obviously is my best game in terms of kills. And you know, nuke, nukes and stuff like that, um, as you guys can tell. So, I'm pretty pleased with this gameplay. Um, I died 33 times as well, and uh, there's one part of the gameplay which uh, is not included in the video, but one part of the actual game when I was playing live, there was like a just a streak of deaths that I went on. I got like a my first two chems, you'll see my first chem's like 59 seconds, is 59 seconds, sorry. A second chem's like uh, 1 minute and 12 seconds, like 72 seconds back to back. So I was going ham then, and then since then I could not get a kill. Um, not not a kill, not get a streak going. And that really made me mad. And because I was on like road for a massive amount of chems that get at that time. So I was really upset, and it took me until about 20 deaths in total to get my third streak going. And uh, yeah, it was kind of a painful era for me at that point of the game but uh, you know I got over it and got the extra two chems which I don't really care about I, may, I mainly focused on the kills because at the end we were trying to be as most efficient as possible with the flags and for this I have to thank my team as well um, I can't exactly remember my remember all their names and I think it was Riz, Kenko Jenko, Beast, Neon Feed and Limitless yes I even remembered it oh my days I'm not, not swag but uh, yeah, so thanks to them guys, they did a really good job on holding the flags. I could have, if, if everything went perfectly, I could have got like a, let me think of this, make work out, about a decker, isn't it? Um, even including the assists, so maybe 11, I don't know, if everything went perfect, which obviously it didn't because it's me. But uh, yeah, hopefully you guys do enjoy this gameplay in the background. Best try and hit 40 likes, I'm not expecting it to hit that many likes because um, I've got another two videos coming out today. Um, one's going to be a little bit later, um, about afternoon time, 3 or 4, something like that, uh, maybe 5, I don't know. And that's going to be based on my you know, my overall review of Ghosts and the pros and cons. And the third video is going to be my very first, first chem, and that's going to be my farewell to COG Ghost. So make sure to check those videos out later on. And by the way guys, I did a double upload yesterday, so I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys didn't see at least one of them. So make sure to check the links down in the description down below. I'll link both of the videos for you. One was a double sight switch chem strike on Stonehaven, and the other one was a uh, 150 plus on Black Ops 2. So make sure to go check them out if you haven't already. I highly, highly recommend you guys to do that. But uh, yeah, it's basically it for all the gameplays and whatnot for today and yesterday. What I'm going to be talking about today is the thought of teleportation and how interesting I found I find it and how people could use it in different ways. And obviously teleporting is going from one place to another in like a like an instant. So obviously that's obviously not possible at the minute because technology isn't that advanced. I don't think I think people the scientists and that are looking into it, but I don't think there's been any success or any sort of breakthrough in terms of teleportation or getting anywhere near to that so uh, don't expect that for a long long time guys um, it's not going to happen probably not in my lifetime which sucks but there you go but I'm just saying if it was like a, you, you had like a magical genie or whatever <laughs> and you gave him a, he gave you a wish and you used it you asked him to grant you the powers of teleportation and I'm going to ask you guys in the comment section down below how you would use that power what would you do with your teleportation? And I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys would be like, Oh, he just teleports to the girl's bathroom, and then when they turn around, it's teleport back. Because I know <laughs> I know a lot of people will be thinking like that. I mean, I actually thought like that at the start, but, you know, I'm trying to think of it for more mature reasons. You could use it for useful things, such as... Let's give an example. If you could teleport people out as well, Say if someone's about to get hit by a train or a bus and you, you, you're able to pinpoint your teleportation, you can just teleport in front of them, grab them, teleport you and them somewhere else and uh, save someone's life. So that could be like really, really useful. Also, if you're in a sticky situation, if you get caught in like a gang in like an alleyway and it's like a dead end, 
What are you gonna do? They've got guns pointed at you, they've got knives, you know, prepared. What are you gonna do? Obviously you're gonna press the teleportation button because there's no other way out. I mean, you could try and beat them up. I mean, only I could do that because obviously I'm the only Dench guy in the world. But I mean, let's just think of you guys, you guys normal people. I mean, obviously I'm superhuman, but let's not let's not think about that. Okay, so you'd want to teleport when you want to confront them, because you'll pro even if you possibly do get out, uh, you'll probably end up getting stabbed or, or shot or skimmed or something like that, something that won't be nice for you. So you'd want to teleport out harmless and keep those guys thinking of like, what the hell. Um, also, let me think, if you're a bad guy and you wanted to use them for bad reasons, then there's obviously one where you could just teleport into a bank, take the money, put it in your pocket and teleport back home and honestly there's not really much you can do about it because I mean sure cameras will catch you and that but they won't know where you come from because uh, they won't be able to find your way out and also this is what I would definitely use it for teleportation I'd wake up about 8 in the morning by the way my school starts at half 8 I'd wake up at 8 I normally wake up at 7 so that would give me an hour extra sh Sneak or actually, I could wake up at 8:15, jump in the shower for two minutes because I'm that quick. Honestly, I do actually jump in the shower for two minutes um, and get out and get changed because they're literally hanging up for me already. And then I would, you know, get changed and hopefully be ready by like 8:29 with 50 fi with 50 seconds on the clock as well, so 10 seconds to get to school and just teleport into a place of the school where there'll be no no one there so that pretty much be outside the doors of my form class i just teleport there at the last second and just walk through the door just casually so that'd be really useful also i could just you know teleport straight home from school because normally it's like a long ass 40 minute journey home nah, no 30 minute journey home on the bus but i could just go to like a place somewhere obviously where there's no one there and then just teleport home and then i'll be back home do whatever i want extra time free time before uh, my mum gets back from work and now I'm forced to do homework so yeah that's pretty much it for the video hopefully you guys did find this commentary interesting and let me know what your, what your example of teleportation would be and what you, how you'd use the power of it because obviously my, my main focus would be on the school thing but let me know what you guys think hopefully you guys did enjoy make sure to hit that like rating down below check the videos out from earlier as well have a great day and peace